compared to anything I've pulled out of here last time I was here. Hey yo, it's your boy Coleco. I'm back out here at the hog mine again hunting for black tourmaline and aquamarine. And it's a machine dig. I'll show you some more of that right after this. I meant Jemmy. Stand by. Oh yeah, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. Stand by. No, I knew it was genuine. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to be a total. I would have to be the biggest doubting Thomas in the world to be like, this ain't real. You made this. No, I'm deaf, so I <laughs> ask people to repeat myself all the time. Oh. I'll now, Chris, the owner of the hog mine out here, has had more than a couple of people talk to him as they're leaving or as they're putting stuff in their truck asking if they're allowed to uh, take the quartz if they're allowed to how much they're allowed to take one bucket full two bucket fulls and uh, he wanted me to directly address and let people know that you can bring anything you want out of here if you can carry it you can keep it if you find it it's yours it doesn't matter how jemmy it is or how nice it is or how big it is or what it's worth if you paid your entrance fee whatever you find is yours to take yours to take if you want to take it home like that nice little bed right there. Unfortunately, the first time that I was at the hog mine digging for aquamarine, there was somebody there that was either given some misinformation or was just not telling the truth and being honest with me because he was telling me that this 600 carat um, aquamarine barrel that he had found at the hog mine had cut these three really beautiful uh, aquamarine gemstones and even more than the gemstones that I had seen there. That's what he had told me. Now, uh, when I was visiting the uh, hog mine on this latest trip that I'm uploading this video that you're about to watch now uh, The owner Chris pulled me aside and let me know in no uncertain terms that there is no way That those gemstones came out of his claim uh, He said that it's just not possible the gemstones that come out of there don't look like that um, so that is as far as I'm concerned, you know, the gospel in that matter. And uh, the wool had been pulled over my eyes uh, well enough that I had put pictures of those gemstones in the thumbnail of the video. And uh, it, there must be about a minute of that video that is dedicated to that guy and uh, those gemstones that he said he found at the hog mine, which apparently it's just not possible and I believe Chris how can I not believe him one he runs the mine uh, he uh, owns the claim and number two I've seen some of the like really ice blue looking gemstone aquamarine that comes out of there and it looked nothing at all like what was in that box so tailings piles that they're cutting up but the story is, is that when the original miners were mining this claim for beryllium that they were going for using 8 inch screens to mine the beryllium crystals and 8 inch screens are huge huge stones like so the word is that they're still very large sized uh, beryllium crystals or uh, barrel Barrel that possibly has some aquamarine in it. But this has been completely freshly trenched, man. That's for sure. Now the advice I was given on the machine dig day, if you're ever out here for this, is that what a lot of people do is wait till the machine is done digging a new hole or a new trench like you see right over here. The trench that we got right over here going on. And then right after the machine moves, you go through it and you start picking through it and seeing what you can find and digging in the wall and stuff like that. And that seemed to be pretty productive for people. At least that's the advice I was given. My buddy here hit the the big badass one surface collecting today. 
Look at the Jemmy in there. Really cool piece of aquamarine. And a couple other big honks. Man, he found some big stuff. Great color. Yay. <laughs> Yeah. Beryl is a mineral composed of beryllium, aluminum, and cyclosilicate. Well known varieties of beryl include aquamarine, heliodor, emerald, and red beryl. Naturally occurring hexagonal crystals of beryl can be up to several meters in size. Although terminated crystals are relatively rare, pure barrel is colorless, but it is frequently tinted by impurities that give it the fantastic colors that we treasure as gemstones. This back section didn't look anything like this before. This is all the way in the back and they definitely cut a new trench out yesterday. Now the aquamarine barrel is relatively soft. It's like a seven, seven and a half on the Mohs scale. Uh, if you're gonna be using a pickaxe or even a hammer, you don't really wanna be swinging at it full force. And the first time I was here, I was definitely going at it a bit harder than I have been this time. And it might be why I found more this time than I did last time. And look at that, isn't that funny speaking about that? Look what I just found on the ground right in front of me. That's a little aquamarine barrel right there. Yeah, that totally happened. <laughs> Uh, so uh, what you want to do what you want to do is sort of like when you're working in the Virgin Valley you want to sort of get little swings picking around the rocks and the debris that you can see and try and sort of get it to loosen up that way you can look down and see if you've got anything out of there if anything has hit the ground and also you might see something face most of the pieces that I've found I found by working like this and then I'll see just a little chip that's like a cream colored with a green sort of bluish off-white color and uh, that'll definitely show you that it's barrel when you see that a lot of times you might think a piece of mica is barrel too though One of the good things about looking for the beryllium crystals in the, the barrel in this clay is that it really sort of stands out as soon as you get near one. It didn't even take me very long to find that after turning around and doing the video. half a hex split directly in half good thing is we know what's inside of it then huh doesn't look too jimmy cool specimen though I'm so pissed off at myself I hit this with my pickaxe and I could see it as soon as I hit it I could even hear it crunch and crush hopefully it's a lot bigger than I think it is and I didn't just destroy the little bit of good really cool blue that's there Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty. Not really Jimmy still, but cool. Makes me think I should be working this thing with a screwdriver only. Um, a lot of people do when they're finding it. Oh, it split in half. Oh well. It flew everywhere. <laughs> it wasn't Jimmy. That's exactly why it split in half. Let's see what's in your hand anyways though. There we go. 
Now everything we're working over here that's not in the main pit is tailings. We're sitting on just a giant mound of tailings that it's hard to even fathom inside your mind unless you go on the outside area of this area of the claim and look down from the ta tailings pile, which you can totally tell the difference even with the underbrush the way it is. So uh, when you're working this, being that it's all like compressed and you have quartz all over in it and all kinds of different minerals and rocks and dirt and mud, you sort of want to work around everything because the beryllium crystals have a hardness of about seven, seven and a half. So you want to work around the creases and the crevices of the big rocks and sort of work everything out and hit the mud clay lightly and in with a downward motion so you're sort of scraping it instead of digging into it that way if you do hit a nice barrel crystal you might chip it a little bit you might not damage it all but you definitely don't blast it apart Like I stated just a second ago, if I didn't clip that out, the uh, the barrel in the aquamarine is really easy to notice compared to the other stuff that's around it. That's definitely a piece. And then here's a couple more pieces. These are just tiny little slivers that are sitting up on the dirt. The one thing is that mica will tend to look like aquamarine until you really get a good look at it. It'll just sort of have that flash and glint at certain angles, but it's definitely not the barrel. See, now like a dummy, I don't have a sifter like this smart man does and like a lot of these other smart people do around me. So what I'm doing is I'm working really slowly and breaking the clay up and then afterwards I'm sort of sweeping everything and going through it and this was just found in my tailings. I peeked at it and then I covered it back up because I sort of wanted to experience the first time and look at that color though. Look at that size. Look at that perfect barrel shape. Look at that. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's a really cool find. Clean that up and show it to you guys in a second. That's awesome right there. That's the best piece I've found out here yet. Easy. Just popped a new hole over there on that tree line. <laughs> hey folks. Touch. This is the main pit area and this is a great example to show you how deep it really is because that looks like the original uh, wall and topsoil up there. Looks like it. Maybe it's not but it looks like it to me. And then this is the original money pit where they're pulling all the giant beryllium crystals out. Giant barrels. And it goes down in there. Oh, show. Let's see that piece of aqua. Oh, that's a monster. Look at that color. You can see right through the end of that. That's some amazing stuff right there, this man. One, this little guy came right off of that. Yep. All right, here's my hall of aquamarine barrel. That's probably the best, the nicest full barrel I pulled out. It's a nice little blue streaking through on the sides. And then here's a half of one I pulled out. Looks definitely all chalky, not too much gem color in it. And then there's this. It's got a little bit of aqua color in it and they told me this was aquamarine when I was pulling it out but I was telling them I didn't think it is and I still am not convinced this is aquamarine I think this is something else 
it just looks much different to me. It's similar, but it's still much different. I mean, they were telling me there's gray aqua and stuff, but something about this makes me think it's different. That is for sure. Chunky piece, a little bit of color on it. And then I got a bunch of little pieces, and there's some nice little hexagons in there, like you can see right there. These little barrel shapes. There's a couple of them that have nice little crystalline structure to them. A couple of them that have a nice little crystalline structure to them. And the best piece I have from that weekend, though, is what was given to me. Believe it or not, this is the best piece I found. This is the best piece of aquamarine barrel I have from there. And as you can see, like it has the nice aqua gemminess to it. This was given to me. It's really cool. Definitely the best piece that I have, that's for sure. Some good looking stuff though. Boy, I tell you what, being that this is in Georgia in the south, it is humid and muggy, whether it is sunny or overcast. I had a mix of both out here this weekend. It was sunny on Friday, it was overcast all of Saturday, and then it was sunny and oscillating overcast on Sunday. Uh, I tell you what, it's not easy to breathe the air down in the south during the summertime, but this place is totally worth it. I found lots of tourmaline, I found lots of barrel. I didn't get rich, but I saw some people that found some amazing specimens. If I haven't shown you those pictures already, I'll make sure I roll some of that right after I get done with this clip. Now if you come on out to the hog mine, don't forget to leave Dave and Caroline a tip. They're great people, they'll help you out in any way you can, and they'll also make you some lunch. They tend to do that out here every now and then. Uh, we had burgers and we had some uh, some sub sandwiches and some pizza and it was just a really good family feeling event out here. Everybody was really friendly, no bad attitudes, no bad treatment, just a little bit of foul language and usually that was me. So if you're going, if you want to visit the hog mine, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and check them out and uh, I love you for watching. Uh, to my Patreon supporters, thank you very much for your support. And to Fancy, thank you for, for helping make this video possible. And uh, I love you for watching. I'll see you in the dirt. If you like what I'm doing here, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment and share any of the videos that you really appreciate. And if you'd like to help support Mining America, just check out my Patreons page and you can also buy something in my Etsy store and see it on the Mining America sales channel right below me. I love you for watching and I'll see you in the dirt.